Oh, I set the camera down and my finger slipped and hit the stop button. So this is like pretty much I'm going to call it part two, the rooting method. Um, so we got the phone connected. Need to bring down the notification panel. Yeah, we got USB connected and make sure the phone is set to MTP. And click on it for a faster connection on your uh, computer. Alright, uh, let's go ahead, go back over here on the post. Man, I got everything scattered everywhere. I don't need this anymore. I definitely will need this so I can... No, I'm just going to do it now before I even forget. And then they're going to come after me and go, Laser Wolf, you did not hit that damn thanks button. How could you, man? Thought we were friends. I figure I just bypass some time just being silly, so. And, uh, where the hell is that thanks button? Did you have everyone else on the internet just then? They said thanks to the developer, and I am having problems finding a thanks button. I found a reply button, but no thanks. Donate. This is the method we're going to be going through here in a minute. Oh well, instead of wasting everybody's time, might as well look for the thanks button for yourselves because I sure as hell don't even see one. But I'll, I'll thank them here in a little bit. And if I don't thank you, whoever posted is. You would justify dev. This is by that person. So I want to say thanks in general. Thank you for uh, posting uh, this root method. It shows us thanks over there, but I still don't see a thanks button. I do I tap on that. Nothing. Oh well. Uh, well, still, I want to say thank you, and I'll find that thanks button later. So we're not going to use this thread at the moment. Alright, we're going to start on this thread. And this one's by the Cubi Cubed, if I'm pronouncing your name right. And I don't see a thanks button. I just see a thanks meter, but not a thanks button. So, I am definitely going to be sitting here all night hunting one down. So, thank you for posting this root method. Sorry for going up this close and all that. Just to let you guys know, I do have a little eyesight problem, so I have to be up close to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I already told you guys to download your Verizon drivers, and uh, if you want to be safe and sorry and follow these steps, then go ahead and download the Verizon drivers, and then go ahead and get them installed. Now we're going to go into this other post. We'll click on there, and it's going to bring us over to this forum over here. Um, just uh, follow these instructions. Uh, download the LG root. That's the only one you need uh, for this post. And once you get it downloaded, I'm going to throw this in there. Come on, quit being stupid. That Chrome's being stupid. I just somehow cannot unmerge this and then paste it over there. Okay, um, I'll screw with it later. Okay, so once you're there, you downloaded the LG LG root. I'm gonna go right here, download the appropriate files for your phone. The selection below. We are working on the Verizon VS986, and now we already have this operating system installed. But this is not the spot we need to get the files at. Keep going down to where it says download links, Verizon, and click on that link. Your file will download automatically. Uh, once you get the file, go to where your file is located at. 
I don't need this anymore. I have mine underneath my OGG4 files or folder root and you extract the file. I will also post down a uh, tool to uh, so you guys can get to it quick. Uh, but the required tool that I use or program I meant to say is a uh, 7-zip. So once you go get the file, I already moved mine here, you get a tar and so on. So you get an A tar, another one, and then, yeah man, I can't talk right. You click on the first one, it's like tar.gez, something like that. You'll extract the other one that just says tar. And then once you get it extracted in here, you click on that one, and that's where you get your image. Uh, you take your image, Control-C, or just right-click and copy, and we're going to go into the phone. And now on the instruction, place the file in the root of the phone. Do not place it in any folders. Don't place it into a folder called Yo Mama or anything like that. Just click on that internal thing once you're in there control V to uh, place the uh, image file in there and uh, once you get the root tool or LG root extract it move it to your uh, desktop I created a folder for mine because when I went in there uh, it was just a file so I created a folder called LG underscore root and I extracted the files in here. Alright. So while this is being installed, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're getting the image file. I shouldn't say installed. I meant to say transferred over to the phone's uh, internal SD card is what they call it. Alright, once we got that there. I'll go back over here to this post. I'll go back over here because I don't want the instructions say. Alright. Extract the tar. Oh, it's a GZ. I don't know what to call it. On the same page, you downloaded the send command tool. Step 2 follow. Steps 1, 2, 3, four, uh, I almost said 5. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Do not do step 5. You'll kill your phone. I didn't do it because I was smart enough not to follow step 5. I skipped it. Ensure that step 9, that you use the right COM port. That is important. It took me a minute to realize how I can tell because there's two of them, but it's easy. Alright, so let's go to the other post. And I'm going to follow this guy. Post it in your um, desktop and we're going to run the command prompt. So we're going back over here to that. Uh, shift. Right click. I had to hit a key on my computer to bring this up. And we're going to open with command prompt. Uh, once we're in the command prompt, we're going to do adb.exe space devices. The devices. I want to make sure I'm doing the right command because they do give you picture walkthroughs. I'm doing a video. And right there it is. That's what I put. Always make sure you type in the correct things because this thing will error out. Or if you do something else, you screw it up. So I'm going to hit enter. Phone, it's telling me phone's offline. It's probably because the screen's turned off. But I ain't worried about it as long as it sees it. Um. Leave this command prompt open um, on here. We'll skip five. Number six. Wait, wait, what did I miss? What did I miss? There was a step that I miss. Hold on, I'm gonna look for the step. Okay, I was kind of being a little bit over picky about it. Um, so yeah, we're on uh, step six. I'm going to power off the phone. Because finding out the COM port is done after number six. So we're going to power off. 
still connected. Okay, I'm gonna hold the volume up button. And we're going in download mode. And we're almost done. Double click, port, stop bat. Let me make sure this is finished. Yeah, it is. So we're going to go back over here. No. Okay, port, stop bat. Hit enter. We're going to run it. And uh, right here is your information. We'll be looking for this one right here. D I A G 1. This phone is set on COM6. So you're welcome to close out that window. Alright, so remember that you got that number in your head. That first CMD window that you saw me close, um, you can go ahead and close it, but do not close this one. Alright, so that was step 8, finding out the COM number. Number 9, we are going to type in this command. Do not follow this guy's command because if you type in 4 you're going to get an error or something like that. So if yours is 5, type in 5 at the end of this. If yours is 86, type in 86 and so on. But our mine right here, my girlfriend's phone is number 6. So we're going to type that in as E and oops, wrong shift key. I don't want to do that. Underscore Command space two backward slashes period another backward slash C O M six and you should get a hashtag right there and you should no oh, wait I'm thinking of another step all right so you get a hashtag right there so we're done with this post. Alright, now we're going to type in ID. ID, well, no quotation marks, and without putting it in caps. Type in ID. You should get root right there. And that means that it's connected to your phone. Run the command specify for the selection below. Title commands to run to flash the rooted system image. So we're going to go down here. The FR commands to run Verizon VS 986, and we're going to copy this code here. And it's really hard to hold a phone and do this. And due to that, I am so close to this thing, I'm going to end up having to re highlight that again. go control C command prompt right click hit paste hit enter now it's gonna be sitting here for a few minutes and you should see another hashtag I mean once you see it type in the letters well I'm about to say it but once you see it type in the letters all in caps leave and it will restart your phone and it should be rooted. I'll be right back. We got the hashtag. We're going to spell leave. Enter. Phone's going to reboot. Alright, and I'm going to show you guys how to disable to uh, how to disable the OTA updates. It is recommended to do so because there won't be no rollbacks or any fixes once uh, you do update this thing. Alright, so I'll be right back. I gotta type in the Google information. Alright, so we're not going to connect this to the Wi-Fi. So I need your Google. This is how you disable the OTA. We're going to go to Google Store. We're going to search. We're going to do link to. God damn it. Uh, let's try this again.
link to there we go link to SD I'm going to install it accept Open it, drain it. Okay, and we'll go scroll down to the S's. H L still an L P. Right here, system updates. We're gonna hold freeze it hold freeze it again and now you can sit back and relax and don't be scared to accidentally hit your system updates I hope this video helps everybody out please follow the steps uh, as they are and uh, happy rooting